So today we're going to talk about thyroid health issues and eating the fertility diet when you have thyroid health issues because people reach out to us um, quite a bit uh, actually. So I wanted to tell you something that might be in part contrary to what you've heard so far if you're battling infertility have, and have a thyroid health issue. Most people come to us asking about cruciferous vegetables specifically. Um, we feel cruciferous vegetables are a really important part of any diet, particularly the fertility diet and for a healthy thyroid, which is the part that might be contrary to what you've heard up until now. Um, cruciferous vegetables are really important because they provide health promoting nutrients, enzymes, fiber. They work to help your body detoxify from excess estrogen or detoxify excess estrogen, metabolize and get it out of you. Um, they're, often, they're often also bitter, which stimulates digestion and sets you up for really healthy, a really healthy gut. They have a lot of really great benefits, yet we know that women with thyroid health issues, hypothyroidism and even Hashimoto's are concerned because their doctors tell them not to eat these vegetables. They're often told to, told to avoid them and we disagree to a degree, and here's more. Uh, we really can't say for certain if cruciferous vegetables like cauliflower, broccoli, kale, Swiss chard, lots of dark green leafy vegetables, bok choy, and others are for certain going to um, be bad for every single person with thyroid health issues. It's really a blanket statement that we don't believe is true, yet you're likely to read, read and hear from many that these vegetables might interfere with your body's ability to produce healthy amounts of and thyroid hormones when you eat them in large amounts. That is also a key here. Might, because we don't really know for everyone, and large amounts. We don't really have a definition of large. Experts share, however, that it's really highly unlikely that cruciferous vegetable consumption in moderation, as we're supposed to, um, is really not gonna harm thyroid hormone production or your thyroid health in any way. Um, moderation and normal size amounts is what's key. So um, before I go into what that means and what moderation and what normal size amounts are, um, I do want to say or share with something, share with you something that I've read. Um, and this is a quote: "There is a scientific consensus uh, that cruciferous vegetables could only be detrimental to thyroid function." in cases um, of very high intake accompanied by significant iodine deficiency. So keep that in mind. Like I said, what constitutes very high, we're not sure. But what in general we suggest is one to two servings, which is one half to one cup of vegetables, depending upon which vegetable you choose. That is considered in general normal for, for cruciferous vegetables and healthy. That is not considered too much or very high amounts, even if you do have thyroid health concerns. That being said, if you do have a thyroid health concern and you are battling infertility, there are two things you can do to help yourself eat more veggies and eat cruciferous vegetables once in a while, right? Because I just shared with you all of their benefit and you know we talk about all the time the importance of eating dark green leafy veggies and getting your broccoli. Um, one thing is to eat the rainbow. So don't just eat cruciferous vegetables all day. There are so many vegetables out there that you can eat. So eat the rainbow and vary what you eat. Eat all of the colors of vegetables. Um, red, orange, yellow, the green ones, which tend to be the cruciferous ones, white, like, and all the other colors. Vary it up. Eat a variety of different vegetables every day and all week throughout your fertility diet. And try not to eat only a few. Switch it up fairly often. Um, know that lettuce and lettuces and things in the lettuce family are not cruciferous vegetables. So fill your plate with some, you know, mixed field greens that might have a little bit of kale in it, which is a cruciferous vegetable, and top it with all sorts of different colored vegetables and seeds and nuts and make your salad that way, right? There are lots of different ways to do it. There are re no real rules. But the second thing, if you're concerned with your thyroid health and fun healthy function of your thyroid and battling infertility or fertility health issue, um, you can steam or gently cook your cruciferous vegetables. This helps them, um, helps your body use them in a way that isn't going to interfere with the thyroid. So um, saute them, roast them in the oven, gently steam them, cook them in some way. It's that simple. And then you can eat them without any concern. Um, we've also been asked if our products, Fertiligreens, Maca, 
and um, Fertilica Dim Complete interfere with thyroid function or are not good for if you have a thyroid health issue. And we haven't found that to be the case at all, actually. Um, maca is known to be supportive of healthy thyroid function and fertility in many ways. You probably all know that. And Fertilla Greens contains some cruciferous veg vegetables, but in the amount that it's in that product, it isn't known to interfere with thyroid function in any way. And no nor is DIM. Um, DIM is actually one uh, nutrient isolate from broccoli, which is a cruciferous vegetable. It's not, it's just one part of that entire veggie. So, um, and we haven't had anyone experience or any healthcare provider say that it is contraindicated for anyone with thyroid health issues. All of that said, eating a diet rich in whole foods and a fertility diet rich in whole foods is really, really, really important for all of your fertility, including your thyroid. Choose organic whenever possible. That's important for your thyroid health, as particularly the dirty dozen foods and um, dairy uh, animal products. Um, eat the proper amount of iodine. Make sure you're getting the right amount of iodine that your body needs. You can add um, iodine-rich foods like seaweeds, raw cranberries, unpasteurized dairy like yogurt or raw milk if you have access to it. That is not a, something that's suggested into pregnancy. Um, navy beans, organic strawberries, Himalayan pink salt, Brazil nuts. Uh, what else? Cage-free eggs. Those are all things that are rich in um, naturally rich in iodine. And be sure you're getting enough key thyroid health nutrients. I just mentioned um, foods that give you these nutrients, but zinc, copper, selenium, B vitamins, vitamins E, uh, A, and C, all of those. You would get those through a whole food multivitamin and your fertility diet as well. Um, but talk to your doctor if you're wondering if you're deficient in any of those and may need to supplement beyond what you're already doing. Mostly just don't be afraid of cruciferous vegetables. Steam them, limit your consumption of them, Use all sorts of veggies from the rainbow of veggies that are available to us, particularly for those of us who are living in a place where they're growing now. It's ending, um, spring has just ended and summer is starting. But if you are concerned, if you have a fertility health issue or a thyroid health issue in particular, and you are concerned, talk to your doctor about it. Talk to your doctor about what I've shared with you. Um, find a nutritionist. So many large grocery stores Grocery store chains actually have nutritionists on staff, particularly if they have a pharmacy included in, um, or attached to the grocery store. Um, dietitians, health coaches, all, those, all these people understand or should understand thyroid health and what to consume in terms of diet to boost your thyroid health. And on top of that, if you have questions, you certainly can reach out to our team. We have guides on supporting your thyroid naturally, guides on eating the fertility diet, and we have Q&A. I wrote a Q&A about this topic um, that if you'd rather read more about it and what I wrote, you can um, have access to that too. So we're here to help if you have questions. I wanted to thank you all for joining today. I'll be back next week with a little bit or a new topic and some new information and I hope that this was helpful today. If you need more support, uh, please feel free to reach out to us through our website. There are contact us forms there and we're happy to help as best as we can. Hope you have a great weekend. See you next week.